So let's take a real quick look at some of the things Edgeflow will allow you to do that was not able to be done in peer grade. So again, I'm going to share my screen. Bear with me. And this is the class I have tentatively set up. I only have one course going right now called Experimental Design, which I'll come back to. But real simple, you hit the blue button here, create. Uh, your students will hit join. And you can either create one from scratch or you can use a template. There's lots of different templates available. Um, if you really like the peer grade for doing something like FRQs, they have a template already set up. You just click on peer review. Check it out, it's got submit your work, review the work and reflect on your feedback. The traditional flow, just hit this blue button and your course is created. Um, there's many other templates as well. Uh, there's a template for doing jigsaws right here. If you go under other, there's a template for doing something like a 14 day journal, like you're tracking the progress of a plant growing for 14 days. You're doing an ecology scavenger hunt. Uh, there's a presentation practice. Students can do their presentation on video, get feedback from their peers, and then fine tune their presentation before actually making it before the class. It's just unlimited what you can do. For my experimental design class, I chose to do it from scratch. So you do an empty course, you have to give it a title. I'm just going to go MABT trial run. And you'll see you have a blank workflow. So you have to add activities. It gives you a list of activities, just hit the blue and it gives you a description where it says read more. And if you want to put the activity there, you add the, hit the blue plus button, it adds the activity. They also have some flows already put together uh, that you can use and saves you a little bit of time. And this empty flow is how you put categories in. So let's say I was doing experimental design. I might want to start with my first flow being, I can name it up here. I want my first flow to be baseline lab. And then I can add activities below that as to what I want to do. So maybe first I want the students to watch a video. It's going to ask you to um, give the video link. You can do that now or later. I'm going to do it later. Every one of these is editable. Uh, maybe after the video, I want to do a student discussion so we can decide who's going to test what variable. So I'm going to add that to it. Again, I'll ask you to fill some information in. You can come back and do it later as well. And then, so maybe that's it for the baseline lab. And now I want to add another category. So I go back to the empty flow. I'm going to add this. This is going to be my pre-lab assignment. And maybe what I want for my pre-lab assignment is simply to do a peer review, the traditional peer review. So I'm just going to take the one that's already created and you can see it quickly populates this peer review with, um, I'm going to take that extra header out. It quickly uh, populates that with uh, the three activities you need to do the peer review with. So a very simple, easy tool to build. Um, it didn't take me much playing around, maybe 30 minutes to an hour to figure out the gist of the whole thing. And uh, like I said, the possibilities of what you can create with this is unlimited. And the key is every one of these things involves student feedback, student collaboration, students working together. Again, the teacher is not the only source of information. Let empower the students to also be part of the learning process. So let's go back to our